So I'm going to start with a sad story that made me eventually create this video. So a couple of years ago, I was running a web scraping script in order to collect some data from some stock market websites. It was probably for some school project or personal project, but I don't exactly remember. Anyway, for those of you who are new to web scraping, web scraping involves collecting data automatically using Python from real websites. So we write a Python script to automatically collect data from different parts of the site, and then we put them in some sort of Excel file or CSV file. In my case, I was collecting data from hundreds of links. These links were from the same website, but contained a slightly different path each time. Because of this, my script needed to run overnight, and it would probably take quite a few hours. And so I ran my script and went to sleep, hoping that nothing goes wrong and everything will be well tomorrow. However, when I woke up, I found that my entire script crashed and it did not collect any data. And on my terminal were two big words, key error. So first, let's explain what a key error is. So I'm going to create a dictionary here. And here we have three keys, apple, orange, and pear, leading to three values, four, five, and six. So if we print the apple, we are accessing the value four using the key apple. Similarly, we can do the same for orange and pear. And if we print this, we will get 4, 5, and 6. So once again, this is how we access a value inside a dictionary. If we want apple's value, which is 4, we pass in apple and we'll get 4. And if we want orange's value, which is 5, we'll pass in orange and we'll get 5, and so on. However, what if we pass in a key that does not exist inside the dictionary? For example, the pineapple. So in our dictionary, we only have apple, orange, and pear as the keys, and pineapple does not exist as a key. So this will cause a key error. And here we have our key error, which happens because pineapple is not an existing key inside our dictionary. Yes, so I just wasted 8 hours of my life due to a key error. As a result, I started using the get method rather than this kind of syntax in order to access values inside dictionaries. So print d.getPineapple. So what this get method does is exactly the same as this syntax, just that if the key we are trying to access does not exist, it does not throw an error. So instead of causing an error, we will simply get the default value none. So if I had used this during my web scraping script, I would probably have saved 8 hours of my life. So let's try this with more examples. Durian, pomelo. So because all of these keys, pineapple, durian, and pomelo, do not exist inside this dictionary, we will simply get none. But the good thing is that our Python script does not crash immediately due to a key error. However, what if we want to get some sort of default value if the key does not exist inside the dictionary? For example, if a key exists, we get the value, but if the key does not exist, we want say 0. So we can actually do this, print d.getPineapple, comma, and here we put our default value, so 100. So let's do this for apple and orange too. So let's run this first, and we will get 4, 5, Hundred and hundred. So what's going on here is that because apple exists inside the dictionary, we get the value of apple 4. And here because orange exists inside the dictionary, we get the value of orange which is 5. Next, pineapple is a key that does not exist inside the dictionary. So instead of returning none, the get method returns a default value 100. Similarly here, because durian does not exist inside the dictionary, we get the default value 100. So all in all, I've been using this get method a lot more than this default dictionary syntax. And hopefully I've saved you some time from having your Python script crash over and over again due to a key error. Thanks for watching and hopefully you've enjoyed this.